Jessica Campbell, the actress who had a starring role in 1999's Election, has died. She was 38. According to her cousin Sarah Wessling, Campbell died December 29, 2020. Her cause of death is reportedly under investigation. Her cousin created a GoFundMe in the name of Campbell's 10-year-old son, Oliver. Wesling wrote on the crowdfunding site, A true adventurer in every sense of the word, Jessica packed a staggering amount of experiences into her tragically short lifetime. Traveling the world, acting, becoming a doctor, being mom to the coolest kid ever, these bucket list items wove the quotidian fabric of her reality. Although Campbell had a number of acting credits to her resume, she was best known for playing Tammy Metzler in 1999's Election, opposite Matthew Broderick and Reese Witherspoon. I'm attracted to the person. It's just that all the people I've ever been attracted to happen to be girls. You should stop her. She's not qualified. We can't both run, can we? I mean, we're brother and sister. Witherspoon wrote on Twitter, So heartbroken to hear this. Working with Jessica on Election was such a pleasure. I'm sending all my love to Jessica's family and loved ones. Broderick also shared his condolences. He said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, When I think of Jessica, I remember a shy, incredibly sweet, very pink-cheeked teenager who liked to discuss with me what is best to order at Applebee's. She was very dear and an extremely good actor. Heartbreaking news. My deepest sympathy to her son and the rest of her family. She also appeared on the TV series Freaks and Geeks. Her cousin also wrote, Her passion for life and the people in it was astounding. In addition to the impressive energy she poured into her own life, Jessica on multiple occasions dropped everything to travel across state lines and care for her loved ones in need. She continued, She was fun, she was loud, she was compassionate and loyal. No matter what she did, she was always uniquely Jessica. For more on this story, go to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.